the big one. Ready? Coming to you, Al. Woo! It's time to match wits with the trivia chicken. Tonight's question is about Dr. Jill Brock, of course, played by Kathy Baker. It's a three-parter. Where was Kathy born? What was her first film? And what was her first non-acting job? Let's see what the bunny bird has to say. <laughs> Love that. My favorite part of the show. Kathy was born in Midland, Texas. It's time now to find out more about Marielle Hemingway. And to do that, we're going to go to the one and only FX Bio Box. Yes! yes! The Bio Box. All right, let's just crank this up. Let's see what happens. Oh, let's see what happens. Oh, look at this. Marielle Hemingway. There she is with Peter Onorati. Now, over here, she was nominated for an Oscar back in 1979 for Best Supporting Actress in Woody Allen's film Manhattan. Over here, we've got a television. Central Park West just premiered last week. And look at the fish. It's a big fish, ladies and gentlemen. She is the granddaughter of the one and only Ernest Hemingway with the big old man in the sea. And give me some grappa. Captain Gravy will attempt to leap over the salad bowl, the turkey, and land in the water glass, much like Evil Knievel tried when he leapt over the fountains at Caesar's Palace. Standing by stuntman extraordinaire Ed Ford, who made the Snake River Canyon jump with Evil Knievel. Are you ready? Are you psyched? Here we go. Captain, best of luck to you, sir. The ring of fire is lit. We pull the cord and... Did he make it? Did he make it? He's on fire! He's on fire! Oh, what would Grizzly Adams look like if you squinted and you looked at him from far away? I mean, he's kind of bushy with his beard and grizzly. So I decided to put him through the FX change maker. You know what this is. Here's Grizzly. Take a look. There is a little figure of Grizzly. Now squint really hard. Use your imagination. We'll send him through the change maker. See what comes out. Turn the crank. Okay. Oh, hey, there we go. And it says... Happy Valentine's Day, FX fans. To find out what's happening tonight on Miami Vice, I thought we'd check in with our own seeker of, of mysticism, the mystic in the mirror. Someone there? Yes, over here. Oh. Oh, great wise one. What is on tonight's episode of Miami Vice? I see smugglers. I see the Everglades. I see Crockett and Tubbs and lots and lots of these. Fantastic. Grab yourself a snack and get ready for uh, tonight's episode. Make yourself a sandwich, Josh. Gee, that's great. Thanks, Swami. Jane Fergus and Mercedes Woods. And we are the, the Raw High Gal. Mr. Snitch, can you tell me who's guest starring in today's Hooperman? Dennis Dugan from Moonlighting. Conchetta Farrell from uh, Mystic Pizza and LA Law. And finally, you can let go of my tongue now. Thank you. With a smiley face. Automatic flag waiver. You just turn this crank and keeps you from getting the tired elbow. Keeps you from developing flag waiver's elbow, which is what happens when you stand at a parade going, Hi, we love you. Shirley, where's the popcorn and peach cobbler? Yes, that's the Facts Art Gallery. This submission comes to us from the Sunshine State of Florida, from the village of Parkland, Florida. This would be the handiwork of George Stewart, with a display of the George Hamilton luggage kit. Whoa! Oh, sorry, uh... You all right there, fella? Yeah. Thank you. I'm okay. You That's didn't even ask how I was. No, it wasn't about to. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> now, an anonymous viewer wrote in and wants to know, you always hear about Susan's baby, but you never see the baby. Where is the baby? So this is the FX answer box. I'm using this for the first time. This is exciting to crank this, right? Oh, look. Here's the answer. The answer is... The producers felt that the cast was already too big, so originally, instead of hiring a real baby, Susan was going to walk around holding a watermelon wrapped in a blanket. But in rehearsal, the blanket kept slipping off, and then on hot days, people would be taking slices of the watermelon, and then there would be seeds everywhere. I don't think this is right. I think this needs a tune-up. Let's go to our brand new FX Flipodex Cinema. How many episodes are there of The Green Hornet? And this is the Pierce from the Magic Hat of the Rabbit. Let's do that one more time. You'll notice that the answer is 26. Yes, there are 26 episodes of the Green Hornet. Yeah, that's right. The Jaws music, the silvery mailbox indicates it's time for us once again to rescue some of your fine artwork from the RDD mailbox. And here we go. What's that? Hey.
And the big day is Friday, <laughs> July 28th, 1995 is when that will air. Nice job. Nice job, Alvin. Alvin is the man who creates all of these Rube Goldbergs. He does trip job. In fact, can we, is there a chance we can just see that on slow-mo? I'm going to go over here. Can we re-rack that? Here it is. All right, the cat, I think, eats the fish. The fishing rod releases the marble, goes down the slide, hits the paint bucket, there's a funnel down the paint, activates the deal, goes through there, the thing goes down, hits Man! <laughs> Three, two, one, go! This is it, kids. Start the VCR. Wake the neighbors, phone the kids, get your grandparents wake. If you haven't fed the pets, forget about it. Just park yourself in front of the TV. Tonight, and for the last time, Captain Cardboard will try and jump from the tube, through the ring of fire, over the gargoyle, over the barbasol, into the barbicide. Standing by, as always, Ed Ford, who did special security for Evil Knievel, Pinky Tuscadero, and, of course, Charlie Callis may try to jump over Rip Taylor. Are we ready? Stand by. We light the ring of fire. Standing by, Captain. He goes into the cardboard. In three, two, one. Hey, got it! Got it! He cleared it! Wait, get him, get him, get him! That's right! He's on fire! Oh, he made it! Unbelievable! Through the ring of fire, he loses his protective cape, but he's alive and in one piece. We'll tell you more in a half hour.